Signs your dog is begging for help. Dogs are amazing. They're playful, loyal, and protective, but your dog can't tell you when something is wrong. That's why it's so important to know the signs of a health problem. There are many common reasons why dogs might be begging for help. If you notice any of these signs in your dog, then it may be time to do some detective work and figure out what's behind his behavior. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified professionals. With that said, let's jump in and talk about the signs your dog might be begging for help. Number 1. Destroying Your Possessions A dog that destroys your possessions is not just being a jerk, it's a symptom of a bigger problem. There are many reasons why a dog might destroy your stuff, such as boredom, anxiety, frustration, or even illness but sometimes it's because they're trying to tell you something. If your pup is chewing on something that isn't food, like shoes or furniture, it could be an indication that they're stressed out. The first step towards figuring out what's causing the problem is to take note of when they're doing it most often and how long they spend chewing on things they shouldn't be. If you know that your dog tends to chew on things when they're left alone at home, then they may just need more mental stimulation to keep their mind off of whatever is bothering her. This could mean making sure there are plenty of toys available for them to play with while you're away from home. Number 2. Limping and Lameness The most common reason dogs limp is because they have hurt themselves. Dogs often get injuries by running into objects, falling down stairs, or getting into fights with other animals. Dogs can also develop certain conditions that cause them to limp over time. Some of these include arthritis. This condition tends to affect older dogs but can also occur in younger pets as well. If you notice that your dog is limping or if they've been injured recently, it's important to take him to the veterinarian right away so that he can examine him for any obvious signs of injury or illness. The first thing you should do when you notice that your dog is limping is to check the way they walk. If they seem to favor one leg over the other or if his stride seems shorter than usual, then there's a good chance that something is wrong with his leg. Number 3. Eating and Drinking Differently If your dog eats or drinks differently than normal, it could be a sign that they aren't feeling well. There are many ways your dog can do this. For example, if your dog suddenly stops drinking water, they may have an infection in his mouth or throat. This could be painful for them, so they may avoid drinking water or eating food until his mouth feels better again. Another way is when your dog stops eating completely. This could mean that they have an upset stomach or other digestive problems like diarrhea or vomiting. It could also mean that they have eaten something that has made his tummy upset, like chocolate or sweets. However, if your dog eats but is suddenly skinnier, they may be experiencing health problems like cancer and chronic kidney disease. Or if he's been gaining weight over time without any explanation, he could have diabetes, especially if it's accompanied by thirstiness, excessive urination, and lethargy. Number 4. Whimpering, Whining, and Trembling Dogs whimper and whine when they're in pain or uncomfortable, but this behavior varies depending on the dog's breed and personality. Some breeds such as Labradors and German Shepherds tend to yelp more than others. Some other breeds, like Chihuahuas for example, don't make any noise at all unless they're really suffering. The first step in determining if your pet needs medical attention is to rule out any obvious cases of pain or discomfort. For example, if they're limping on one leg because they hurt their paw on something sharp, then you know that issue needs to be addressed before anything else can be done. Inspect your dog for any open wounds or injuries that may need immediate attention. Make sure that there are no objects stuck in their mouths or stuck between their teeth like a piece of food. Check the area around their tail for any swelling or irritation caused by constipation or diarrhea. You can also look at their eyes and ears for any signs of infection, such as redness and discharge from the eyes or ears. Whimpering and whining aren't always an indication that your dog is sick. Sometimes it might just mean that they need help getting up from a nap or moving from one room to another. Number 5. Walking gingerly or with stiffness This sign is a sign of aging for humans and canines alike. A dog that walks gingerly or with stiffness is a sign that something is wrong. The most common cause of a stiff gait in an older dog is arthritis, but there are other reasons why your dog may be limping, including hip dysplasia, spinal cord disease, and foot pain. According to the American Kennel Club, arthritis affects nearly half of all dogs older than 10 years old. 
Symptoms include stiffness after getting up from a lying position, reluctance to climb stairs or jump into the car, and difficulty maintaining balance when walking on slippery surfaces. If your dog has these symptoms, you should visit a veterinarian for a checkup. The vet will ask about your dog's medical history and current symptoms before performing a physical exam to determine whether any joints are swollen or tender to the touch. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next sign, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number 6. Licking Paws and Scratching Licking paws and scratching are common signs of sickness in dogs. It can be caused by numerous diseases, but it's most commonly associated with fleas, allergies, and other skin conditions. Fleas are the most common cause of itching in dogs, especially if you live in an area where fleas are common. Fleas cause dogs to itch more than any other parasite infection. If you have a dog that's constantly licking his paws and scratching, it's important to rule out fleas as the culprit before trying to treat them for any other health problems they may have. Other parasites like ticks can also cause itching, but they rarely do so unless they're on your dog for several days or weeks. Ticks attach themselves to your dog's skin or fur and feed off his blood over time until they've grown large enough to fall off onto the ground or into the grass where they'll hide until they're ready to find another host animal to feed on again. Number 7. Barking Barking is a sign of excitement, but it can also be a sign that something is wrong. Dogs bark for many reasons, and sometimes it's hard to tell when they're just being extra vocal or when something is actually wrong with them. If your dog is barking more than usual, then you may want to take him to the vet. There are some common reasons for excessive barking. The most common reason is because your dog wants attention. If your dog barks when you come home from work or after a long day, this could be annoying for you and others in the house. Your dog may go through periods where he seems to need more attention than usual, perhaps because he's going through some changes in his life, such as moving to a new house. It could also mean that he feels neglected or ignored by family members who aren't giving him enough love and attention. Barking could also indicate that your dog has separation anxiety. If your pet isn't used to being left alone at home during the day or at night, this could lead to excessive barking while you're gone. Number 8. Coughing or having difficulty breathing A cough can be a sign of a number of different illnesses in dogs, including pneumonia and kennel cough. A cough will sound like a hacking sound coming from the chest. If it's just a dry cough, then it may be something as simple as hairballs. However, if there are other signs of illness, such as fever or vomiting, along with the coughing, then you should take them to the vet immediately. Another common sign of illness in dogs is difficulty breathing, whether it's shortness of breath or wheezing sounds when they're breathing out that indicate an underlying problem. This can also be caused by asthma attacks in some cases, so if your dog has an attack that lasts longer than 10 minutes or two attacks within one week, then this could be an indication that your dog has asthma attacks and needs medication for this condition. Number 9. Showing you their stomach Dogs are like people. They show their emotions with body language. A lot of people think that dogs showing their bellies is submissive behavior. This isn't always true, especially in cases where the dog is sick or hurt and wants help from humans. If your dog has a stomach ache, he might whine or cry or try to get you to come over and pet him. But if you see your dog showing his belly, that's a sign that something is wrong. It could be just that he's hot, but if you don't see any other symptoms besides his stomach being exposed and he's acting normal otherwise, it's time to make an appointment with your vet. Your vet can run tests to determine what's wrong with your dog's stomach and how best to treat it. If there are no apparent symptoms aside from showing the belly, then the vet may perform an x-ray or blood work instead of an ultrasound or other test on the stomach itself. Number 10. Hiding or growling around company Do you know how some dogs will hide when they are sick or in pain? This is because they don't want anyone to see them and judge them for being sick. If your dog suddenly starts hiding from people or growling at them, it could be a sign that something's wrong with him. Other signs your dog may not be feeling well include drooling or foaming at the mouth. If your dog is having trouble swallowing, this can cause drooling or foaming at the mouth, especially if he has a fever or feels hot to the touch. Another sign can be if they start urinating in unusual places. If your dog is trying to get outside frequently and urinating in places other than their litter box or outside, this could be a sign that something is wrong with them, especially if they're not drinking as much water as usual. 
These signs are definitely helpful and should go a long way toward helping you determine whether your dog needs help. However, it's also important to take your dog to the vet and have them checked over if you notice any of these signs. Dogs sometimes have a difficult time expressing themselves in ways that we can understand. That's why it's so important to keep an eye out so that you don't miss anything. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching.